Hi, this is Dr. Howard Rosenthal, and today I'm going to tell you what nobody ever tells you about counseling exam practice tests. I've seen scores of counselors and counseling students posting online, all with the same question. Where can I find more practice tests? Anybody know a website, an app with practice questions? Will somebody please send me some practice questions? My private response is always the same. Why do you want or need them? Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of teaching or tutorial questions so you can learn the material. Heck, I was one of the prime movers who helped popularize this strategy in the counseling exam prep field. Since a teaching question is conveying information about the material, it might conceivably help you on several questions on your real exam. But practice questions? Mm, not so much. In my opinion, learning general principles and fundamentals is much more important than mindlessly answering an endless string of practice questions. So, Rosenthal, what's wrong with burning the midnight oil and answering hundreds, if not thousands, of practice questions? To explain, I'm going to use an example outside of our field from the past so you can be totally objective. Now, think back to elementary school when most of us learned how to add. Say you saw a practice question asking what 11 plus 1 equals, and the answer provided was 12. That's great. That's awesome. Now, on a real exam, you're asked what 11 plus 1 equals. You recall the answer is 12. Nice. Good job. You scored. You got it correct. Now you read another practice question, and it asks, what does 6 plus 6 equal? And the answer the practice test gives you, which is correct, is 12. Assuming you can recall this on the real exam, you just got it correct. Sounds great, right? However, now your real exam Ask what 10 plus 2 equals, or maybe 8 plus 4, or perhaps 9 plus 3. Sadly, the practice questions did not cover these questions. Therefore, if you don't know the fundamentals or the basics of how to add addition, you won't have a clue. The same applies to the NCE, the CPCE, the CECE, or your counseling comps. Fundamentals beat practice questions to enhance your knowledge virtually every time. Here's another thing to keep in mind. Whether you are talking about practice questions or even tutorial or teaching questions, how many do you really need? There's an old saying, enough is enough. This is also known as the law of diminishing returns. Take my materials. The current edition of my Encyclopedia of Counseling, the Authentic Purple Book, has 1,100 tutorial questions. My audio CD set has another 325 tutorial questions. Now, if you do the addition, which we're talking about today, that's 1,400 
and 25, which is beyond huge. Also, when you buy from my site, I give you additional material. So when somebody asks me for more, I ask why. Eight or 12 repetitions of an exercise might be great, but 10,000, probably counterproductive. When you purchase a study guide from a reputable author, the questions focus on key material. The author knows what they have covered. When you go from one source to another to another, it's difficult to say if you are covering the right material or all the bases as they say. Finally, and this is crucial, this is very important, if you do use practice tests or other materials, it is important to know who wrote them. I see lots of folks on the web and YouTube who have programs based on my materials. That's great, and please understand I am oh so honored. But many times they get the information incorrect, confuse theories, misenunciate concepts and terms, and this could hurt translation lower your score. Here is a wonderful example. Now, I'm not going to mention a name, obviously, but a huge company on the web was featuring Dr. Rosenthal R Encyclopedia of Counseling note cards. Well, first, folks, I have no note cards. That's none, zero, zip. Not now, not ever. If you see Rosenthal note cards run real fast, since these cards are fake, I didn't write them. Just as an aside, if you are a note card type of study person, a note card aficionado, my forthcoming Master Lecture Series textbook will introduce you to something I believe is far superior and much faster and easier to use. But back to the note cards. If the note cards are verbatim from my books or audio programs, well, that constitutes plagiarism or a very serious copyright violation. You don't want to get involved with that. However, the note cards I checked from the company using my name and my titles were riddled with misinformation. I contacted the CEO of the company and I was told they could not vouch for the accuracy of the information. Wait, wait, stop, sit down. Did everybody catch that? They stated they could not vouch for the accuracy of the information since they hired first-year graduate students to create the cards. They weren't even certain they were all counseling majors. How do I know? I asked. Okay, wonderful. Hello, excuse me, what? Do you really want somebody with less education and experience than you teaching you the material for a high-stakes exam? Um, sorry, I don't think so. So, here's the bottom line. If practice questions are not hurting your confidence, which, by the way, I discovered years ago they often do, they probably won't hinder you much. But choose wisely and just remember there are better ways to spend your study time. In future videos, I will talk with you soon about some of the fundamentals of counseling for your exam, and I'm betting they probably aren't what you think. Well, thanks for spending time out of your day, evening, or 
maybe the middle of the night with me. Years for Better Counseling, Dr. Howard Rosenthal.